So in today's web dev tip, we're going to carry on with our end-to-end -end project. And in yesterday's tutorial, we had a quick overview of how we're going to set up our pipeline in terms of deploying and testing our code within GitHub. And in today's tutorial, what we're going to do is get set up with a GitHub action. So we're just going to have a look at how they work, uh, set up a basic placeholder GitHub action and run a simple command uh, within the action. And then we'll move on in the next few lessons to actually getting this to configure to build our project and then ultimately deploy it to the server. So in our project, what we're going to do is get our GitHub action set up. So if you go to the root of your directory uh, for your project and we need to create a couple of folders. So let's create a folder in the root of the directory and it's .github. Note the uh, the period at the start there and that's quite important for GitHub to recognize the action folder. Uh, and inside that GitHub folder we create a subfolder in there uh, just called workflows. Uh, and in here is where you put all of your actions because you can have multiple actions per project uh, but we're just going to create one that just builds and deploys our code. So inside this workflows folder let's create a new file and I'm going to call this one just underscore build and this has to be a YAML file. If you're not familiar with YAML files, they're simply text files that have uh, levels of indentation and those indentation uh, levels mean different things uh, and help group uh, items within the YAML file itself. And it might be worth installing a YAML formatter inside of your editor as well because the syntax can be a bit picky. So we're going to create our GitHub action now and then we'll look at how you run that and where the uh, output of the action appears. So we're going to start off by giving the uh, action a name and I'm just going to call it build and deploy. And then we need to tell this action when it should run. Uh, so we use this on property inside of the YAML file here and we say on push. You do have other options like pull requests and other events inside of GitHub, uh, but we're just going to run this action when we push code. Uh, but we need to tell it which branches to run this on as well. Uh, so we're only going to run that when we push code to the main branch. Okay, so we're going to now create some jobs inside of our action and our action will at the moment just have this one job and we'll give it a property of build in here. So we're going to build the code ultimately at this point, but for the moment we're just going to uh, print out a message onto the command line. Uh, but we need to tell it which environment we're going to be uh, running this in. So we can say this runs on and we'll say Ubuntu latest. And don't forget our droplet, our DigitalOcean droplet is also running Ubuntu. So it kind of helps to have everything uh, on the same sort of platform. And we'll give this an environment label as well. So we'll just say it's uh, production, for example. And then each job that you define can have different steps and uh, there can be multiple steps as well. And for us, this action will just have a single step and the name of that will be build. And we just need to make sure we're indenting here at the right place. Uh, but we're going to run a command. So it's just a simple uh, echo command on the terminal. And we'll say uh, GitHub action is running. So this will just enable us to check that uh, the GitHub action is uh, running OK. We're probably in a position now where we can actually run this action and check that the output is OK before we take any further steps. And that's always a, a useful uh, thing to do because, as I say, the formatting of the YAML files can be a bit funny. So how do we actually run this action in GitHub? Well, if we go over to the diagram that we had yesterday, uh, don't forget we had our code on the local computer and we're going to push that up to GitHub. GitHub, which will then trigger the GitHub action. So in your GitHub account uh, for the project that you're running, uh, if you just head on over to the actions tab, you'll probably see a page a little bit like this. Uh, and as you can see, there are no actions set up at the moment. Uh, you can click this button here to set up a workflow yourself and it will give you a sample GitHub action uh, ready to go. And you can actually just click this button here to actually uh, commit it. Uh, and that will do a lot of the hard work that we've just done for us. Um, but if just click cancel here because we're actually going to uh, run our own action that we've just configured within our repository. But we need to commit that to our repository and then push it up uh, for the workflow for the, for the GitHub action to run. So let's do that from the terminal here. Let's say uh, git add and make a commit here. And the message will just be running a new feature, which is add uh, GitHub action, for example. So let's commit that to our repository. Then, from, then if, all we need to do is then just push the code up to GitHub. Uh, and if we head on over there quickly, we should see the workflow being uh, initialized if we just uh, refresh the page. And there you can see now that so we've got this yellow indication that the GitHub action has been received and it's been queued. Uh, and if we just click on the link here as well, 
uh, you can see that it's actually running uh, and it's finished it was that quick uh, so we needed to jump in there just to see what was going on um, but you can see that's successful we've got a, a, a successful build here uh, and if you click on that you can see some logs on what happened with that github action uh, so if you have a look inside there, you can see it set up the uh, particular job for us that was running. It should give us some indication. Yep, so it's uh, set up uh, Ubuntu there for us. And in the build step that we set up, you can see there's the output uh, that we echoed out from our uh, step uh, just to give us some indication that that's running. So that's what a successful build looks like. Uh, you can see here uh, you've got a summary and you've got the green tick to let you know that it was OK. Uh, if I just go back to the code and make a change. Uh, so as I mentioned, YAML can be a bit funny. So if you get uh, an indent in the wrong place, for example, uh, and I just make another commit here, just saying uh, not sure what this would come under, but feature, and we'll just say uh, example broken build. And if we just push that again, uh, we should find if we go back to the GitHub actions now, uh, we receive another uh, workflow run, another run of the actual GitHub action itself, but you can see this time it's broken. Uh, so if we have a look at that, you can see there's some errors here saying that we've got some errors in our YAML syntax. So if you do create an action and you get a failure, then just come and have a look at what the error is, and it should be a simple fix just to find out uh, uh, what uh, caused the problem. So there you go, there's a simple GitHub action set up. In the following videos, we're going to flesh out that action and actually get our projects to build and ultimately deploy to our DigitalOcean server. But that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.